Have you ever been to a place Have you ever experienced that you are in a situation and there is nothing you can do? the last resort the only resort but now seems to be going dim in the church is to pray Have your back ever been to the wall? Where you wish you had the authority to speak and things just change. Have you ever experienced Where there's so much around you, but yet you're so lonely. Have you ever experienced that? Doesn't matter how much money you have, it could not change the situation. Have you realized that no matter who you go to, no one could have helped you? Have you ever experienced that God had placed some people in your lives? who you can just call up and say, pray with me. Have you ever experienced that God had placed some people in your lives who's willing to walk with you? Ain't much of them. Very few. Others will come and look and shake their head and move on. But thanks be unto God that I know a man. Call Jesus. Have you ever experienced him and seen him work? I thank God and I appreciate him more and more. 
if you haven't been there then you don't know what I'm talking about but I can see there's a few in the house have been to that position Say, help me call on our God. The one who can deliver. The one who can set free. in the spirit realm and in the physical if you have not accept this man called Jesus if you don't pray to this man called Jesus prepare yourself Dress yourself. Because situation and circumstances going to come. And all you can do, all you can say, Lord, have mercy. Don't wait. My brothers and sisters, of him now read his word now place it on your heart now so when the time shall come when you are at the break you will be able to go back before this room And say, Oh Lord, my God. Yeah. And according to his word, he said, But even before we call, he will answer. Yeah. Great God from Zion. I give God thanks this morning. I give him praise this morning. I've seen my God move in a miraculous ways. Hello, somebody. I thank God for his report. children of God worship him when you were singing that song hallelujah which is the highest praise my God you ought to have singing that with grace in your heart I thank God for Jesus Not now, I'm going to pray and ask the master. We know that his word is already blessed. We know that his word is already ordained. But he warned us to take his word and hide it on in our hearts. So when we are back, it's against the wall. We can say, Lord, you told me. In your word, heaven and earth will pass away, but your word will stand forever. You told me to put you in remembrance, not that you have forgotten of your word. And one thing with God and his word 
it binds together and it cannot be separated I don't know about you but I feel a preaching spirit here I thank my God I say I thank my God if you notice around this morning there's two that is close to me it's not here and the reason why sister knows is not here is because sister Linnell is home <laughs> But a child, I want to say thank God for you. I thank God for all the prayers of the saints. I thank God for your support. Do I have a witness in the house? I say God is a good God. Mm, yes, 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 he is. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come back to say thank you. You don't get tired of us thanking you. You don't get tired of us <clears throat> praising you. For you are our God. We can boast, bribe on you. We can put our confidence and faith in you. Because you are God who changes not. Thank you, Father, for all that you have done. What you are doing. And Lord, we are excited what you are about to do. <clears throat> because you are God. And besides you, there is none other. Father, this waiting congregation, I pray, Father, that those whom you've brought through many danger toils and snare, that they will not get tired and weary, O oh God, of praising you. For your name is holy. For you are holy. And you call us to be a holy people. Thank you for this opportunity, Lord. We don't take this moment lightly or slightly. Because we don't know the day nor the hour when one of us will be separated. So Lord, we say thank you. Even those that are on the platform this morning. I give you praise for them. Bless the hearers and the doers of your word. These favors I ask in no other name. But in Jesus' name I pray. That God's children say. Amen and amen. For a few moments. We're going to remain in the topic. Strengthening ties that bind. A not so ordinary love. Strengthening the ties. That bind. A not so ordinary love. As I listen to the various speakers who spoke on the topic, my heart was moved. My mind was stirred. To strengthen. Strengthen is to 
make or become stronger. When you want to reinforce something you have, you say we're going to make it stronger. Some of us, if I ask the question this morning, who would love to be stronger in the Lord? I believe all our hands will go up. Am I right? But in order to get stronger in the Lord, we got to spend some time. We will have to go through some trials. We may have to go through some hard times. But do you know when trouble comes? It makes you. It forces you. It compels you. To seek the face of the Lord. Do I have a witness in the house? I don't know about you, but as, as, as long as everything is going okay, as long as everything is smooth, as long as the car is performing and the mortgage is paid and everything is paid, it seems that everything is moving stronger. Then we testify because of the natural things is going good. We say, God is good. But someone will go to God and say, God, did you hurt them? Because you blessed them with house and cars and money and clothing and things like this. But let me test them to see if you, if they will still say, God is good in the spiritual realm. To have a witness in the house. We have a tendency to bring God in our environment. In the physical environment. When things is good, we say God is good. Do I have a witness in the house? But how when our spiritual life seems to be going in a warped position. When our mind seems don't know what to do. When we seems to be confused and the things around us put pressure on your heart. What do you do then? You see your daughter and your sons go and wave it this way and that way. It seems that the money is drilling out of the bank. What do you do then? Do we still say God is good? Regardless of what situation we're in, God is still good. And he still wants to strengthen us. Do I have a witness in the house? God will use different things, different areas, different methods to cause us to strengthen the things that binds. Do I have a witness in the house? Great God from Zion. Have you ever had a loved one who seems to be at the point of death? Seems that they're going to that they're going to, they're going to lose their life. And when you go home, the room is empty, the chair is empty, the table is empty, the sound of the voice is silent. Then you become aware that that voice you used to hear, what used to be annoying, now seems to be most beautiful in your ear. Have you ever experienced that? Strengthen the things that binds. Your fellowship with your family. God wants his family to be intertwined. Strengthen, become stronger, become richer, become improved with one another so that you and I will be tied up tangled up, wrapped up 
in Jesus. Do I have a witness in this house? We used to sing an old song. I'm wrapped up. I am tied up. I am tangled up in Jesus. Great God from Zion. Somehow it seems that those songs in those days goes to cause you to shout. But because we, oh, do I have a witness in the house? Because we begin to loose the ties that bind. We say, you don't got to do all that. Mm, Lord, have mercy. But I hear Timothy, 2 Timothy 3 and 2. It told me, it tells me what caused the ties to be loose. You see, there's many ways ties is bind. Not only we talk about the good ties but there are some areas that's the bad ties but it still binds for timothy told me he said for men shall be lovers of themselves great god from zion when you become lovers of yourself you don't love the lord the way you ought to love the lord when you become lovers of yourself, you don't love your neighbors the way you ought to love your neighbors. When you become lovers of yourself, you don't love your spouse the way you ought to love your spouse. When you become lovers of yourself, you don't love your children the way you ought to love your children. When you become lovers of yourself, you don't love the church family the way you ought to love the church family. You become lovers of yourself because you come all become me, myself, and I. So where does God fit in this? That means you take your love and bind yourself into your love. God help you. And that's when the ties that binds in Christian love, it began to get loose. I don't care for hardly the way I used to. It doesn't matter about a Charlie buck his head and lose his life. It doesn't matter if I don't see my brother eat. It doesn't matter if I see they go naked. Why? Because all I'm concerned is about myself. You see, wherever there is a positive, there is a negative. Wherever there's light, there's darkness. Where there's truth, there's false. Hello, somebody. Wherever there's a God, there's a devil. So you and I have to determine before the series is out which ties that's binding us to what. I can love myself so much until I have to pass seven times seven in the mirror before I come to church. And when I get to church, I got to make seven times seven in the bathroom look at myself before I sit in church. And because I love myself so much, I don't mind when they began to sing and raise their hand, hallelujah, not me. I'm too good, I'm too proud, I'm too holy within myself to raise my hand and say, hallelujah. But I got news for you. A time gonna come. Lord, I come, help me Jesus. Help me Lord. I said a time gonna come. When many will find out that loving themselves, in that they'll be covetous, boastful. Are you hearing me? Put the scripture back up there, son. They will be within themselves. They become proud. I'm higher than him. And that's why we have so many church label. And in the church, they're full of proud people. But my Bible told me, 
God don't walk with the proud, nor will he walk with the scornful. Do I have a witness in the house? I just hope nobody in here proud today. What do you know? Come on, knows. Do you know some believers believe they're better than you? Do you believe some believers believe you're not in the, the level with them? Do you know some believers believe because they got position, now they're in a higher position than you? But oh, I got news for them. Great God from the side. That's why I said, for God I live and for God I die. That's why you need God as your best friend. You need Jesus as your only friend. He is a friend that stick it closer. Oh, help me, Jesus. The time is an attachment that restricts an object or an individual from moving. Do I have a witness in the house? I can look at many of you ladies today. I see many ties on your hair that binds your hair together. Why you take that tie and bind the hair together? Why? Because you don't want the hair to fall out. Do I have a witness in the house? Great God from science. Mm, Jesus. So we can take time out and make sure Everything of us is bind together. Why don't we take a same opportunity and bind our hearts, our spirit, our soul, our worship together in the Lord? When it's time. It's a touch. Every time, every morning and evening, I will either drive by or go by the shoreline to see which line has come loose from the boat. Do I have a witness in the house? Because the stone line keeps it firm from going forward. Do I have a witness in the house? The breast line, am I right, Brother Pike? The breast line holds it together from moving sideways. And the bow line holds it together from moving backwards. So if one boat needs all those lines, what you think about me and you? You need a starting line, which is the Holy Ghost. You need this, the bow line, which is the word of God. You need the breast line, which is Christ the Lord. All of us need those lines to be, to be able to tie it. So we'll be able to be together with each other. And that's why I love this song, Blessed Be the Tie. That binds. Great God from Zion. I soon sit down. Watch this. What's it? Hallelujah. Outside, many bind together because of an event, a purpose, a day. How is it that we bind ourselves in one place on a Sunday? How is it? that many bind themselves together in one place on a Saturday. Watch this. Many use the day for the binding or the ties to make them to bind. Are you hearing me? Many use Saturday to bind. Sunday to bind. But Sabbath or Saturday as an account of creation 
in which God rested on the seventh day. Are you hearing? Watch this now. Something or something will cause you to buy. Am I right? If I like to drink, give me a good wine there. The older days used to be born vibes. If I was a drinker, that means I go look for my drinking buddy. Hello, somebody. For somehow and some reason, we can learn something from those folks. When they drink together, no matter how small and little bit in that bottle, they gonna make sure that that bottle gonna pass from hand to hand. Great God from Zion. And then we ain't worrying about COVID. Do I have a witness in the house? What binds them together is that one bottle. What's in the bottle? Great God from Zion. How is it? How is it that what's in the bottle called spirit? And how is it that the true spirit can bind you and I together? Something is wrong. Something gone wrong. Lord have mercy. Help me Jesus. Help me Jesus. Some say the Saturday is the Sabbath day. God rested and he made it holy. But I want you to let you know after seven he started all over again and he started with one yes 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 on the third day do I have a witness in the house and Matthew told me Matthew 24 and 40 Jesus said as Jonah was in three days in the, and three nights in the belly of a fish so will the son of man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth do i have a witness in the house and if you go to jonah 1 and 17 it back up what jesus said that jonah was in the fish belly three days and three nights do i have a witness in the house but on the first day great god from zion on the first day of the week came mary magdalene and Mary and all those concerned ones came to the sepulchre and the sepulchre was empty. Hello, somebody. So on the third day, watch this now. Hello, somebody. Will you jack us a little bit of theology? It was not Friday Jesus was crucified. It was a Thursday. It was a Thursday, and his body was in the grave. The grave had the body bind. Death tied the body. Hello, somebody. But the spirit was loose for his spirit to and he went and, the, and he went and preached to the spirits in prison. Are you hearing me? All those patriots who have not heard the gospel, who was bound in hell, they was able to hear the word preached to them. Oh, I have a witness in the house. And on the third day, Jesus didn't have to wait for the third day. But because the prophesied was upon him, he obeyed himself obedient and bind himself to the word. So I have a witness in the house. So on that third day, he waited, and on early that morning, when the clock hit the time for the third day to roll in, Jesus' spirit, do I have a witness in the house, which was secure in the hands of God, went back into that physical body. Ain't that something? And came out. I believe it came out even before the stone was rolled away. 
the stone was rolled away so the people could see with the physical eyes watch this now that the body is not there why you said no listen here when jesus oh go look where i am when jesus went back into the body what, the spirit went back into the body that now natural things become like air to you and me are you hearing me so natural air to christ so stone rock and anything the body of christ could walk through without any hindrance you remember the disciples were in behind locked door are oh, you hearing me and when jesus uh, thomas wasn't there and when jesus came back down from heaven he walked went through the wall with the door closed and he appeared to his disciples and said she locked shalalam all the doors were locked all the windows were closed how did he get in what am i saying that's the body gonna bind our spirit and soul after the resurrection that's what we're waiting on we're waiting on that new body do i have a witness in this house all those patriots who died in christ now death have them bind have the body bind in the grave but the soul is not bind the soul is loose with Christ but only those who have accepted Christ as their personal savior but it's sad to report those who die without Christ your soul will be bound by Satan that's when you'll cry out to the same loving father what we're going to talk about in two seconds And he'll say, sad will be a cry. Watch this day. Watch him. Don't let the day of the Lord be the only bind. Don't let the Sabbath be the only bind. But it's amazing. There's another day the Bible spoke about. Hello, somebody gonna come upon us whether you believe in the Sabbath or not whether you believe in the first day or not it calls the day of the Lord the day of the Lord do I have a witness in the house second Peter 3 10 second Peter 3 10 says for the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night watch this now and that which the heavens shall pass away with great noise and the animal and the elements shall melt with fervent heat are you getting this watch this now the earth also the earth also the earth where do we live The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burnt up. Oh, you didn't know that was there? It's right there. Shall be burnt up. So if the earth and the works, all those things that man have to glorify over, shall be burnt up. Are you hearing me? So if the earth should be burned up, where would you and I be? Thank God for Jesus. Are you hearing him saying? You remember he said he go to prepare a place for us. And if he go, he will come again and receive you unto himself. That where he is, there we may be also. There's a time going to come, children, that is hovering over our head called the coming of the Lord. The coming of the Lord can also refer to as the day of the Lord, but the day of the Lord referred to as the end of time. When time shall be no more. There is coming a time when time will have no bind over you and I. Do you know time have us bind? 
Hello, somebody. But thanks be unto God. Thanks be unto God. This is where I want to go. God loves us so much. He loves us so much. The not so ordinary love. Ordinary love. How can we explain this love that God has for us? The only thing we can say, God loves us so much. He loved the world so much. He gave us his only son. Can we decipher that? Can we think, get up in the mind of the Lord, our God, why he loves us so much? Why? Well, he made the angels too. Didn't he? Didn't he call the angels into being? Hello? And he made us from the dust. Creation is creation, eh? Are you hearing me? But how is it that this God, do I have a witness in the house, choose to love man more than the fallen angels? Think about it. We could have been reading a Bible that could have been the other way around. That God loved the angels more than he loved man. And he prepared hell for man to go in. Have you ever thought about it? So we ought not to get brazen about ourselves. To believe, to love ourselves so much that we do have no space for God's love. Are oh, you hearing me? Listen. First John 3, 1 to 3 says, let's read it. He says, behold means look what manner of what? Love. The Father has bestowed upon us that we shall be called the sons of God. We as preachers, we want to be called bishop, apostle, reverend, pastor. I went to a, went to a meeting the other day, invited by Sister Davis and, 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 the, and, the, and the preachers who sat beside me. He said, he said, um, um, he said, he said Pastor knows, he said, um, excuse me, he said, Bishop knows, I said, I'm son of God. don't change. Hello somebody. That don't change. You and I ought to be proud to be called the sons of God. If you love titles on your name, you are lovers of yourself. Oh, somebody Lord have mercy. Watch this now. Sons of me? Little old me? The love the Father has for me? Look what here. Do you see the bind there? Do you see the tie there? Because God is our Father. Through Jesus. The, the love that he had for us. It was so tight. Do I have a witness in the house? And when man sinned, he still loved us. But man couldn't go back to God. So what he did, he sent his son Jesus to pay the price so that you and I can have fellowship back with the Father. Oh, you hearing me? So Jesus was the binding. Do I have a witness in the house? Stand between God and man and be, was able to bring man back to God. Ain't that something? Isn't it wonderful? I don't know about you, but I'm excited. I am so excited. Would you excited know because I'm a son of God? To be a son of God? Some ring, a bell. When they say, I am the son of so-and-so, 
You look at them different. You talk to them different. You respect them different. Because they're a son of Mr. So-and-so. But hello, somebody. When you are the son of God, the whole heaven host respect you. Are you hearing me? The whole host of heaven respect you. When you are the son of God, the whole hell respect you. Do I have a witness in the house? Because hell have to have permission to touch God's son. Do I have a witness in this house? Even death respected Jesus Christ, the son of God. He had to submit himself. What manner of love, that binding love, bind us so much to him. Listen here. And because we are buying so much to him, we begin to act like him. We begin to talk like him. We begin to sing like him. We begin to react like him. That's why the world do not understand us. Because why? Because the world do not understand nor they know God. Are oh, you hearing me? That's why they label us as fanatics and crazy. Ain't that something? But you know what? As the truth be told, it is the other way around. Somebody get it. It's the other way around. The world knew us not because of no, not God. In my closing, watch this now. The Father love us. Bestowed upon his love, bestowed upon us. Was so binding in him, allow his only son Jesus to come down from heaven's portals of glory. Offer us salvation. Say, whosoever, come, whosoever will, let him come. Drink of the water of life freely. Whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting love, everlasting life, everlasting joy, everlasting peace, everlasting tranquility, great God from Zion. Why would one want to trade sin Don't let the devil fool you. Don't let him bind us. Are you hearing me? Jesus shed his blood, washed our sins away. The royal blood of heaven flowed through our spiritual veins, through our soul, through our spirit. Are you hearing me? And because the blood of Christ is in me and the blood of Christ is in you, you and I are bind by his blood. Now, if you have a different type of blood, then it's not the blood of Christ. That love caused the blood to shed. That blood that run down now is in you and I. One may say, but I know it's our sin or blood. But if you the blood is not in you, when God look at you, he see you and he will get angry. Why? Because he wants to see his son. Are you hearing me? And that's what makes it so beautiful. That blood, because the life is in the blood. In the blood. When you go to the hospital, the first thing they do now is take a sample of your, of your blood. You have a witness in the house. They can tell you if you was fooling around, they could tell you. If you were smoking, they could tell you. If you was drinking, they could tell you everything with, with, with who you are. They could tell you what food you should be able to eat and not to eat. They should tell you your, your type. Why? Because everything is in the blood. But because of Satan contaminates our blood, Jesus had to come and shed his blood 
so that we can have a new blood. Ain't that amazing? A husband and wife can have two different type of blood and that son and that daughter comes out with a different type of blood. Ain't that something? When we are born again, we have the blood of Christ inside of us. So then, when we have the blood of Christ inside of us, that means our relationships will improve. Our confidence and awareness through Jesus Christ now will become unselfish. If we are selfish, we need to wash. We need a blood. In God's kingdom, there's only one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one blood. He is the God. Christ is our Savior. He is the Master. He is the King. And He is our Supreme. So then, so then, what do we become? We become like him. Are you hearing me? Behold what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon me. Lord, give us that love. I need that love. Do I have a witness in the house? Because of in the midst of love, there is hate. Every time, Paul said, every time I want to do good, evil is right there. Every time I want love, hatred is right there. And that's why we have a battle on the inside. The greatest battle is not the battle on the outside, it's all the battle on the inside. And when we have that love, our talk change especially the believers rather referring oh god to ourselves rather saying them or those people listen to the church people listen how they talk that's why listen the words will reveal what the heart is saying those church people those church people will now become us. We in the Lord are the children of the Lord, are the children of God. Have our talk changed since we got saved, since we got tied and bind with the love of Christ with cords that cannot be broken how could you and I be bind together and can't walk together how can you and I be bind and tie together hello somebody and I can't stand you how can you and I be bind and tie together when we got so much big differences between us how can we oh good be tied and bind together when we can't see what God is saying to us how can we be bind and tied together with that one love if I can't or we can't reconcile with each other what holds us together The stern line, the breast line, and the bow line. Holy Spirit, watch this. The breast line normally have two lines. The stern line have one line. The bow line have one line. Watch this. So that means it tells us. The wind gonna still blow. 
The sea is going to start get rough. Hello, somebody. But depending on the direction it's coming in, it doesn't matter. Because with stern lines, bow lines, and breast line, that means I'm stable. If the wind blow this way, coming this way, I ain't moving nowhere. Because the, the breast line got me. If they come from the stern and the stern lines is out, that means the stern line got me because I'm tied. If I go to the bow and it's coming this way, that means the bow ain't moving nowhere. Because why? Because the bow line got me. Then you and I can testify. I'm tied up. I'm tangled up. I'm wrapped up. In Jesus but you know what but you know what in my closing many of us have the bow line the stern line the breast line on one side so what happened when the wind blow on the side where there's no breast line no bow line no stern line It'll push up against the dog. It'll beat up against the dog. Do I have a witness in the house? But when uh, it, the, ship, the, the, the trouble shift on the other side where the breast line is, that means it's strong, it's strong, but what God wants us to do, God wants us to be well rounded. It doesn't matter where the wind blows. He said, I'm solid. I am set. I am set on a firm found. So it doesn't matter the wind blow east, west, north, and south. I ain't moving nowhere. But what I love about this, the captain gonna come one day. And he's gonna step on the clouds of glory. And he's gonna take the bow line, the stern line. The breast line and he's gonna put it all in the boat and he's gonna take the boat out of the water do I have a witness in the house and put it in a new environment in a new vicinity where there will be pleasure forevermore Lord I must stop I've gone over my time but let's strengthen the ties that bind with our eyes closed and our heads bow. Let me give you these few tips. But one had to share with me. One of the simplest area to strengthen the ties that bind. Comfort one another when they're hurting. This is how we can get others into the ties that bind. Hug them when they're hurting. Share a kind word. When the word of a sword comes to you in your ears, sometimes it's good to just to be silent. A kind word turn away wrath. The times that bind, God is a good listener. Sometimes he just wants us to listen. I said to a preacher, I said, it's painful to go around when 
someone lose a loved one, what could you say? That will ease their pain. Say sometimes you say nothing. Just be there. And allow the spirit to speak to them. Assist wherever possible. I've seen that throughout this week. Thank you, Minister Poitier. Out of our way, beyond the call of duty, was off duty, but went on duty, assisted where as possible. Showing respect to each other. Even though they may not deserve it, but still show it. Ties that binds. Worship together. There's so many. But the common ones that took a share. When last we shared a kind word. When last we went back and said, Thank you, Lord. This is an opportunity to strengthen the ties that bind. A not so ordinary love. This is our time to practice. This is our time to fulfill. What do we hear the Spirit saying to us at this moment? Do we talk to me more than he talked through me? Lord, speak, thy servant heareth. This is a time to refresh, a time to reset, a time to make up within our minds. For God I live and for God I die. In spite of the other ties that are trying to bind us, that is not of God. Father, search your hearts. Search our souls. Search within us. See if there be any wicked ways in us. Cleanse us from every sin. And set us free. Lord, take my life and make it holy die 
I now surrender all to thee. I surrender all to thee. I surrender all to thee. He wants us all to surrender all. Us as believers, all. He wants us all. Body, soul, and spirit. It's our choice. It's our choice. The day will come when he step on the clouds of glory. Will you still be in that bind? Will you still be in that high? So that when he come, we'll be snatched from earth to glory. But until then, help us, Lord. To stay together in Jesus' name, Amen.